Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Neil and it's Thursday afternoon, which means it's time for the next episode of Taskmaster. I can't believe it's already episode 8 of season 11. We've only got this plus two more before the season's over. It feels like it just started, but I'm psyched. I'm really enjoying the, the five contestants this year. I don't have anyone, you know, I've definitely got a soft spot for Wozniak, but Usually there's a contestant or two who I just never really seem to get behind. They rub me the wrong way for whatever reason. But I really see the appeal of the entire cast this year. Uh, I'm having a great time. Congrats to the producers for making this show work in a pandemic. I can only imagine the headaches that that would involve on a show like this. Um, I know all the protocols we have to go through shooting a regular dramatic series and this being such a more hands-on type show, I could see it presenting all sorts of challenges to the producers, but kudos to them for keeping the show alive um, and providing us with great entertainment in what's been a very insane 15 months. So yeah, um, let's let's just get right into it. This is uh, episode 8 of series 11 of Taskmaster. I can't wait to see it. So grab a drink and join me. Let's go. One of them even trumped a bit of his bottom out trying to please <laughs> him. <laughs> this whole season's going to go down as the the absolute casserole season, isn't it? He hasn't bought car tax or insurance since the 90s because he thinks it's an example of big government. <laughs> <laughs> Little Alex Horn! Who knew Little Alex Horn was a libertarian? I've decided that we're going to start the show slightly differently. <laughs> oh. Alex is going to do some extreme improvisation for you. Is he? Yeah. Does he know so, this? Mike, if you'd like to give me a song style. Funk. Um, Charlotte, perhaps you'd like to give me a dance style. And disco break. Disco break. <laughs> what, is, what is disco break? You know. You know. You know. <laughs> it's in your bones. And finally, Sarah, I need uh, an event from history. The division of North and South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sarah. She's great. In 1953, there was a terrible situation. Ow! That was way more history than would ever appear on the American version of this. One day I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. And this week, the category is the most satisfying wobbly thing. At the end of the episode, one lucky What are the odds somebody brought in a dildo? be totally satisfied. I'll tell you now, anyone who's brought a jelly, no points. I bring in one of those, like, an ambrosia salad, you know, the big jelly mold with the marshmallows in it? Inside the jelly is a complete Rubik's Cube. Here we go. <laughs> Wow. There you go. It's pretty satisfying. I'll oh, take three points. Yeah. <laughs> very, very big of you, Jamali. I said I can't take my belly into Taskmaster. She said, why don't you make it out of jelly? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Did he make it? So, so far, after me um, slacking anyone who brought in jelly, we've had two jellies. Next, <laughs> Charlotte! Hmm. Three jellies. <laughs> Personal, this, but obviously this show has taken its toll on my ego, my self-esteem. You are in last place. Yeah, inside is a letter from my therapist commenting on my wobbly sense of self-esteem. Right. Oh, <laughs> there's a letter from a therapist in a jelly. Can we go five for five? I've gone for a milk tooth. Tooth? A milk tooth. Here is what the milk tooth. A milk tooth. Which is surely the most satisfying wobbly thing of all. Oh, a milk you get tooth. A yeah, big time chap fuel time. <laughs> big time chap fuel time. They call them milk teeth in the UK? They're baby teeth. I brought in a, a sausage of chicken, mate. A what? I brought it to wobble it. I'm giving everybody here three points. Well, everyone. Wow. Yeah. Nobody overwhelmed, nobody underwhelmed. So they're either all good or they're all shit. That was a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> so that first challenge meant nothing. Meant absolutely nothing. How are you? Excited. You're excited? Yeah. Alex is always excited. I just don't think he ever actually shows it. Say the word metronome between every tick of this metronome. Oh. Also, you must blow off a time balloon so it's bigger than your head. Neatly gift wrap the balloon. And eat three whole poppadoms. With, while saying metronome the whole time. I'm in. <laughs> metronome. 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 
Man, Metronome. people are going to watch this and get hypnotized. Metronome is not even a short word to say between metronome. <laughs> Puffadums are so dry. <laughs> Did he just not miss a single one? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. That was impressive. That was properly impressive. I don't think there's anything in life that phases you. I just like to be told what to do. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Even if it's wrap a balloon saying metronome and easing some bubble I'm just like, for the next five minutes. This is what I'm going to do. It's easy street. <laughs> what are you doing? You're very strange, I'm just obedient. He is the ultimate beta man. Metronome. <laughs> I knew I should have cut my fingernails this morning. Metronome. <laughs> Metronome. Metronome. Oh no! Metronome. Met oh no! Metronome. Oh no! Metronome. So they each only got the papadums. But I don't feel like anyone's missed saying metronome yet. Did I hear you shout, I've got a BAFTA? <laughs> <laughs> I know what a BAFTA is. It's like the, the British Emmy slash Oscar, right? Well, I think at, at, the, at, at this rate, Wozniak's running away with it. Oh, Jamali's yeah. doing all right. Metronome. Yeah. That's a terrible rapping job. Oh, no. Metronome. Metronome. Not quite yet. What? How big does she think it needs to be? Metronome. Metronome. Matrimony. He's not matrimony. saying the word any. Matrimony. He's he's like saying matrimony at this point. Okay, that's clever. That's clever. <laughs> oh, poor Charlotte. She looks so defeated. <laughs> oh. The Popadom Balloon King was Mike Wozniak. Five points, one miss. Bravo was. Mr. Niak. I think it's been a while since Mike's been in the lead at any for anything. JSC. Oh, it's a group event. Draw the best picture of a British animal. Each person must fill in one section at a time and may not look at any other section during that time. And you may not communicate with each other in any way during the task. How are you with British animals? Not great. What, what do you pick? Like a stag or something or? What, what's the most iconic? It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? Pigeon. <laughs> Pigeon is your classic British. Go away and you can come back in three minutes. <laughs> I love the way he prances around. I've had a little time to think about this, about how ridiculous it is. I mean, how can we possibly know? You can't. Because it's, we're still pissing in the dark, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> even if you're pissing in the dark, you know roughly where to aim. Yeah, this is harder than pissing in the dark. This seems like a good eye level, so I'm hoping Lee hasn't eyeballed. Lovely green eyes. Are we going to get any four-eyed animals? That'll be fun. But if you saw it in the wild, if you were just walking along and it, and it stepped out... Oh, I'd kill it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but then I'd take it home and show my children afterwards. Yeah, it'd, it'd be like a jackalope. Quest. <laughs> I'd ring its neck as soon as looking. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> They're already in danger. <laughs> it's a four-eyed beast. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no, a four-eyed beast. No, no, that's a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a novelty hat that it's... I suppose I've got to think about which would benefit the British Isles the most. Yes, you do. Always. <laughs> Nation, country first, right? Country first. I have made my judgment. I, I love that they 3D printed them. At least I assume they printed them and some, some PA wasn't tasked with carving them. Record the greatest aircraft safety announcement, then perform <laughs> the greatest aircraft safety demonstration. Your announcement must be in an accent. Everyone has an accent. <laughs> your announcement must be in an accent or language other than okay. your own. Your first pronunciation and was impressed by it. I thought, Jamal is just being modest. <laughs> no, he, he really doesn't speak much French. I don't think we can count aircrafty. <laughs> <laughs> aircrafty. <laughs> Pretty French, hombre. You said welcome, hombre. <laughs> if you start thinking, what do I need to do if it crashes? If you go, oh, actually, nothing, I'll probably die. You actually enjoy the flight. <laughs> That's a fatalist view, Lee, but there's some truth to that. Fucking don't work! Sarah's just gone bonkers. 
have you apologised personally to Lorraine Kelly yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I've written her an email. I haven't heard that. <laughs> Who's Lorraine Kelly? Welcome in unser Flugzeug. With Mr. Aeroplane Airways. <laughs> With the hole in this thing. Oh, Wozniak's crushing it this episode. When the Kinder haben, kein Glück. Wozniak's crushing this episode. I love it. It was about an hour before it happened. That's the sort of last recorded footage of... <laughs> my the the, the intact... Sweetest era. <laughs> before it moved to a very different part of life. Yeah. That, that, that's the last pre-casserole sighting. Well, series-wise, Charlotte is now in the lead. That's no, the opposite. <laughs> she's, sorry, she's on 88. Oh, that's harsh. Nine points ahead at the moment, Sarah Kendall. Oh, the lead is diminishing. Lee and Mike are uh, hot on her tail. Stand on either one leg or both legs behind this curtain with your hands on your head. The taskmaster will then guess if you're standing on either one leg or both legs. <laughs> if he guesses correctly, you are eliminated. So fool the taskmaster. But I'm saying with some confidence, she's on both legs. She's standing on two legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My career is actually over, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's on one. Oh, oh sweet wobbling. <laughs> there's, a, there, there's, a, there's a BAFTA coming for Jamali. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> this is hilarious that this is like network television. She's yours, Greg. It was creative, but you're on two legs. <laughs> that was convincing. That was convincing. Oh. I love oh, it. Oh, clever. Yeah. The hands are on the head. That's a sweet tip. Yeah, that, that's, that's tough. It is, that's isn't tough. It? Is that a heartbeat? <laughs> <laughs> I love that this the is like one leg. televised. Oh. <sighs> well done, Lee. That BAFTA is deserved. I, I, I love how intense this is. The tension, the drama. It's tried and tested. It's got to be two. Got to be two. <laughs> uh, I love how I love how in She's invested everyone right. else is. Oh, oh. Which means we have a winner. Mr. Lee wins. Bravo, bravo. I think that means Lee wins the episode. Hey. Yeah. Bravo, Lee. Lee wins. Please for wobbly for your wobbly thing. Bravo, bravo. Ah, that was a fun one. It, 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 it went so quick. That felt like such a quick episode, but it was your standard five challenges. Um, I was kind of hoping we'd get five jellies in that... Uh, in, in, in the, uh, the opening, uh, opening challenge there, but three is pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised no one brought in a dildo, frankly, but that's just where my, my first thought went. Uh, maybe they were warned that they couldn't. Anyway, um, I, 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 I liked the drawing challenge, but my favorite part of that challenge was simply that the, the show then decided to create 3D models of the drawings because they were fascinating and adorable, and uh, I, I really appreciated Wozniak's detailed dare I say, Attenborough-esque description of how the animal feeds its young. I thought that was quite, quite stellar. And then he just, uh, Wozniak again, just crushed the, the Papadum balloon wrapping challenge, the metronome, and uh, made a fairly convincing cheeky German stewardess. So, you know, it's a shame that he didn't end up winning the episode, but it was a uh, it was a good one uh, for him for sure. And it does reinforce to me that that the, the, the producers choose the order to put all the uh, the challenges in. You know, clearly there was an airplane day during the filming of this, and they did the fried items. They did Wozniak's solo fart challenge. They did the stewardess, um, the flight announcement one that we just saw now. 
And I feel like there was even another one that I'm missing at the moment. But those were all obviously filmed on the same day and the producers have decided to spread them out over the course. So the, the producers do have some control over the narrative of the of each episode and of the series as, as a whole. And fair enough. I mean, you want to heighten the drama as much as you can. That being said, Charlotte's not going to win this thing. Charlotte, I feel bad for her because she's adorable and she would may actually make a good children's show presenter but she just doesn't seem to come through in the clutch in these uh in these high stress moments and somehow or other sarah is still crushing this you know although lee and uh and mike are on her on her tail and uh, closing in her, her lead is diminishing but i'm not sure two episodes left that uh there's there's enough there so it'll be interesting to see how, how the, the last two episodes shake out. I always have a blast reacting to this show. Um, it, it's one of the few things that I watch the second it drops on YouTube. I know I'd be tuning in every night that it came out in the UK if we were so uh, inclined. And if there's ever a Canadian version, you can bet I'll be tuning in for it live crossing fingers on that one although I, I'll be surprised you know unless they can get Kiefer Sutherland attached in the Greg Davies role then we can talk uh, <laughs> we do have plenty of great comedians though who would be awesome contestants anyway thank you guys so much for joining me today please consider uh, liking and subscribing if you haven't already I really appreciate that it's great for the channel and until next time take care stay healthy and we'll see you soon cheers